Everyone, welcome to the Body Beat Down. What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Body Beat Down on this Sunday morning. The rain has finally stopped here in West Tennessee. Last I heard, it was supposed to rain another day or two, so it may kick back up. I don't know. But for now, it's done. And for everybody in, uh, for everyone in East Tennessee and the Carolinas and Florida and all that stuff. Hope everybody's making it. I know it's not easy what's going on and I feel sorry for y'all. <clears throat> a lot of flooding, a lot of stuff going on, so anyway. So, I had some pretty important things, I guess. Not really, but I had some things I wanted to talk about on this walk and talk. But, we're going to skip out on one major topic and stick to two topics here. Topic number one is what I'm doing going forward with my working out. And the next topic is YouTube or social media and their copyright laws. Let's go ahead and get the copyright laws out the way because it's more of an annoyance and nothing you can really do about it. It's just annoying. So, of course, you know I like to listen to music while I do my videos. Or I edit music in after, you know, whenever I do the editing and stuff. And uh, my views and opinions on that is these people are getting exposure. Especially a lot of the music that I play. A lot of these bands and standalone singers and, you know, what have you. They're getting noticed by people that may have never heard anything about them. So, you're getting free promotion. Can't hardly beat that. So, and I know that these platforms, these social media platforms and that, have to protect themselves. And I know that's really what it's about but I think that I think that since most people would like to have music in their videos and I'm not talking about just music like you see in my videos I'm talking about what if you're at a concert I'm talking about what if you're at a club at a party hanging out the TV's on Whatever it is, whatever it is that these, these uh, platforms are picking up is copyright material, they should allow it. It's free promotion for these things, for these people, for whatever, TV shows, whatever it is you're watching. And it gives you a copyright. Now, copyrights, I don't mind. Just your standard copyright, I don't care. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really do much. And then you have other copyrights where it can't be seen in like some countries. And no offense to the rest of the world, but 99% of my viewers are here in the states. So, you know, I care about if I'm seen here in the states. But then you got some of countries that are blocked 
and one is including the United States. So that's a big one. That's a big hit. Now, again, I'm not monetized. I never will be monetized because I like music. I'm not on social media for money. That's what a lot of people are on there for is to eventually get money. I guess I'm in the minority. I really don't care. Now, if I was going to make a million dollars a year, all right, I might care. But I don't right now. So I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the journey, the entertainment purpose. Most people don't like to just sit there and watch a video of somebody lifting weights and just hearing them groaning and grunting and metal banging around. You like to hear at least a little bit of subtle, subtle music off in there. It don't have to be blaring crazy music, but a little subtle music is good. Kind of breaks things up. Can make things more interesting. But anyway, there's nothing you can do about it. And I have so many videos that, you know, have this issue. I don't know what to do at this point. I mentioned I made a quick short video last night that I might do like a big conglomeration of all my videos. Maybe like a best of or something for each for each body part and kind of re-upload some stuff and you know keep the music out, mute it, whatever it is I gotta do to my video. Maybe edit them and make them uh, a bunch of shorts. I don't know. That's a lot of work. Because I got a lot of videos, guys. I got almost 3,000 videos out there. And for me to go through and click on each one that has this notification on it and see what it is, you know, the extremes of it. Again, I don't care if it just has a regular copyright where nothing's affected. And then you have another copyright where it's partially blocked, where it's other countries that you know, might not get to see. And then you have partially blocked where it's also the United States. So I'd have to go through all those that have this on there and figure out what, you know, figure out what it is I gotta do. That's a lot of work. And for someone who just does this for entertainment and uh, just for, you know, being able to look back at my own videos and you know, hopefully inspire some people along the way. That's a lot of work. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if it's worth messing with. Because if you, the thing is, if I got a hundred videos out there that are blocked all over the, the world, that's a hundred videos that people didn't get to see. And some of those could have been PRs, you know, something cool, interesting, some conversation, something. And it's something that people won't get to see, including myself. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I haven't figured it out. It just kind of all hit me last night whenever I started kind of uh, investigating stuff. So, that's topic number one. Topic number two, which is probably more what you're wondering about, is my working out. As I've said from day one, I have goals. Not from day one, but once I started going with my working out and I started making goals, I guess I'm backtracking, but once I started making goals, I realized, hey, 
you know it's good to make goals it helps to drive you so at that point I made these goals for my lifts whether it's bench pressing squatting deadlifting shoulder presses bent rows cheat curls whatever it might be I made goals and then I made other other goals within those goals like doing X amount of reps with X amount of weights and stuff you know with those lifts different things I've met every goal and uh, I've accomplished a lot regardless of what anyone else out there might think I have accomplished a lot So, and I don't have to make anyone else proud. I'm making myself proud. I did that a long time ago. Made myself proud. I reached every goal. And my last goal, if you recall, was getting that 405 pound bench press. And that was a pretty emotional moment. I don't usually get emotional over stuff, but when I got that PR, when I got that one rep max PR finally I knew things were done I was done at that point in my heart and my mind my soul everything I felt done and uh, one thing is that was so important was you know I wanted to accomplish these things before I died you never know when you're gonna die and something in my life had to be important at this point in my life and it was my working out because I felt like I left things unturned you know unfinished many years ago I didn't push myself enough and and here I am early 50s and got all these PRs that I never dreamt possible when I was younger working out because I didn't have the discipline So where am I going with all this? Well, I'm thinking maybe, I'm gonna go around this little track one more time here. Everybody knows if you keep up that I am changing things, but I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna go a little longer, just a little longer and try and uh, do like a little three lift competition like I did one other time with the three main lifts. Get my max one last time, see where I'm at with those three main lifts. And this is a maybe, I might do this. And then at that point, I'm done worrying about like anything heavy heavy in other words my deadlifts probably won't go above 405 anymore my bench press probably won't go above like 355 365 ever again my squats probably won't go above 355 365 ever again stuff like that because I've mentioned before it's hard for us to to know when to quit sometimes it's an ego thing sometimes it's just a you know admitting that you're you know you kind of need to stop or for whatever reason I don't know it's kind of hard for us to stop sometimes because we like to be able to say hey yeah I'm doing this this amount of weight especially when people ask but I'm kind of feeling like it's time. And so when my brain, when my brain really gets to that point, I need to, you know, I gotta make that decision. Okay, do I wanna make another run real quick and try to do some max lifts and uh, then let my brain and conscious take over and, and say, okay, it's time to slow down. I need to need to make sure 
that everything's in line and ready to go in the direction I want it to go. So, basically, if things go the way I'm thinking that they're going to go, I'm probably going to cut down my workouts, lifting workouts, down to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And Tuesdays and Thursdays, try to get in more walks, maybe a bike ride, some other uh, exercises that I need to do as far as mobility and uh, endurance goes. As I mentioned before, uh, I had a lot of this in, in my plans from the very beginning and it just didn't go that way because I'm so used to just lifting weights. So, we're talking about, you know, doing small sprints, maybe getting myself to where I can jog a mile again, like I did a couple years ago with pride, with ease, doing tire flips and tire tosses and doing other things like that that are actually good for you. And way better than just lifting a weight. And see, I know these things. I know that these things are far healthier. And being well-rounded is far healthier than just walking in a gym and lifting some heavy weights. So, it's these things that I want to get in my daily routine somehow in my life to change things up. So that's kind of the route we're going. Pretty good, how are you? What? <laughs> I got fans, fans everywhere. <laughs> Have a good day. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. Determining if I'm if I'm ready to do the three lifts again and uh, probably on the same day like I did that one other time it's been a while back like uh, my own little competition at home and then uh, go into a Monday Wednesday Friday workout schedule as far as weights goes and all in between there try to get in more exercises more variations of things try to have a little bit more fun get outdoors a little bit more and uh, that's really what i'm wanting to do now <clears throat> so again we all have different plans we all have different ideas of fitness and what we want to do what's important to one person may not be important to another person and uh, that's the way it goes that's everything in life so I'm looking forward to doing things differently incorporating new things not just showing you guys new things but showing myself new things and uh, hopefully watching my health, my fitness, my endurance and all that, hopefully get better. For a lot of you 20, 30, and 40 year olds, uh, some of you don't know what's in store. Some of you are still in pretty good health and some of you are not. So it just kind of depends. Uh, things, things start changing and uh, you realize that you know, again, what was important at one time isn't as important now. So anyway, uh, we're going to probably cut off here.
and uh, I'm just a little ways from the house anyway so uh, hope you guys stick around I may f I may work on reposting old videos and maybe my journey with some of the lifts and different things I don't know it's a lot of work I may or may not don't know if it's worth it and uh, stick around guys things are changing and now you know the rest of the story Paul Harvey like share subscribe comment all the good stuff to the body beat down that's me Michael your incredible host here on this amazing channel get up get out get rad do it to it and we'll see you next time on the body beat down peace see ya get up get out get rad and do it to it